excited because very soon there's going to be a new addition to her flock. Some little surprises to the family, you might say. And I thought that today we could get Pippa ready for those new additions by making cute little pigeon-sized finger puppets. You might have seen some other puppets that we've made earlier on on these videos. Here's one. It's a flying pigeon puppet. And all the instructions on how to make this are on my website or this YouTube channel. But today, we're going to make something a little bit cuter and smaller. Finger-sized pigeon puppets. I'm going to show you how. It's really easy. All you need to do is go to my website, dimitypow.com.au. Go to the Kids Corner and there you'll find some downloadable fun. Here's what I mean. If you scroll on to Pippa's new picture book called Pippa and the Troublesome Pim Twins, you'll find this really cute template. It's like a cutout, which you can colour in as well. And it's called the Pigeon Finger Puppet Template. Simply download that and then colour it in. Here's one I did earlier. Now this one is just using pencils and you can see it's grey, a little bit like the real pigeon pipper. But you can colour it in any kind of shade or colour you want. You can use crayons, pencils like these. So all you need for this activity is the template, a pair of scissors and some colouring in pencils, crayons or even textures. You could even use some real feathers to stick on your finger puppet afterwards. But first, let's do the colouring in. Here's one. Now, once you've coloured in your template to any shade that you like or any pattern, you can see I've helped you by putting some wing patterns on, but you can change those. You just need to get your scissors and cut out your actual pigeon template. Use the little guided lines that I put on there for you. They're the broken lines and you can see that I've even put the little cutout symbols on there so you know exactly where to colour or to cut out. You cut out all around the template on the dotted lines here but we don't cut out on this thick dark black line. It's the one in the middle of the template and you'll see why in a minute. solid black line, the one that you didn't cut. Let's do that now. Fold it in half. Voila. But look, there's two broken lines that we've got to cut. So you just snip along those because that forms the wings, like this. On each side. Now, see the two arrows that are there? All you need to do is fold the base where Pippa's feet are, or the pigeon's feet, fold them around until the two arrows are touching face to face. You can either glue these ends together, use a piece of double-sided sticky tape, or I'm just going to use regular sticky tape. And to make it double-sided, you just tear off a piece of sticky tape, twirl it into a circle onto itself, stick it, on one of the arrows, like this, so that when we fold in the arrows on top of each other, they stick. Voila! <laughs> Just like this. Okay, and there we have it, our very own finger puppet. 
You can make lots and lots and lots of them. It depends how many templates you cut out and colour in. You could make a whole family of pigeons just like Pippa's family. You can make just twins like Peppy and Pen, and you'll get to meet them very, very soon when you discover Pippa and her troublesome twin brothers in her new picture book. I hope you enjoy making these finger puppets and playing with them because that's half the fun. I hope you've had fun with Pippa and I today. For more exciting activities, colouring in sheets, mazes, puzzles, recipes to make, all sorts of things to do and play, please visit my website at dimitypal.com or explore my YouTube channel right here. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!